at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, October 21st, 2022, dear Revlon stock fans, prepare for delisting. Revlon stock will likely end up worthless after delisting. Revlon stock will be delisted soon. The company's shares will trade on an over-the-counter exchange, although they will likely eventually become worthless. The majority owner of Revlon has large stakes in two other publicly traded companies. After becoming very popular with retail investors on social media, Revlon, NYSE, Rev, stock will be delisted soon. The cosmetics company declared bankruptcy in June, citing its huge debt and supply chain issues. Revlon indicated in June that $575 million of new loans would enable it to remain in business indefinitely. Revlon stock also briefly enjoyed a stint as a meme and short squeeze play. However, the New York Stock Exchange announced late yesterday that it would not allow Revlon stock to continue to trade on its exchange, and Revlon reported that it expects its shares to be removed from the exchange in the near future. Moreover, it noted that the NYSE had suspended trading in Revlon stock. After the delisting, the shares are expected to trade on an over-the-counter exchange, Revlon reported. But the common stocks of bankrupt companies usually become worthless. Two other stocks held by the majority owner of Revlon. Billionaire Ronald Perelman owns an 85% stake in Revlon. Some investors may be interested in knowing that Perlman's investment company, McAndrews and Forbes, owns shares of two other publicly traded firms. As of June, McAndrews and Forbes had a 60% stake in biotech firm VTV Therapeutics. The company's treatment for type 1 diabetes has received fast-track designation from the Food and Drug Administration, and it is scheduled to start Phase 3 trials of the drug during the current quarter. Perelman's company has a 33% stake in Sega Technologies, Yahoo Finance reported last month. Sega owns the rights to Tecoviramat, a smallpox treatment that the FDA approved four years ago. The U.S. government has spent over $1.1 billion on the drug, according to McAndrews and Forbes. Thanks for watching. Numerian Capital News. Please come back tomorrow for another stock news update. Thank you.